Hey guys, it's Holy Taboo, and this is my video on effectively planning your next bit of AP gear. And in this, I'm going to talk to you through how obviously I did it to get from my gear up. And let's be fair, in order to make that realistic enough, let me show you what I did over the last one and a half years. So, as you can see on the screen, in July 2018, after coming back to the game, starting a new account, that was my gear. As you see, not too inspiring, you know, Pry, uh, was that Pry Heave, yeah, Pry Heave. The Azula sets, and as far as anything else goes, obviously Grinnell's belt as well. We all love that. The Roaring Chest. We all know we've all been here. So that's where I was now. One and a half years later, here I am. God, it seems like a long time. So yeah, hit the 290 AP with my awakening. Obviously, did switch class and 305 DP. As you see, all my boss gear is at Tet. I do have the the Pen Helm and the Pen Dandy, the Black Star at Tet as well, which I just like. And all my accessories at Tet as well with the Vel's heart. So the way I did this, I don't get me wrong, there's always going to be some look involved, but some of this was grinded up as well. Um, I'm not a massive fan of rouletting, so I'm not a rouletter, which is why you've never seen a roulette video on this channel, and I'm fingers crossed you never will, because if I do that, it's probably meant I've quit. Um, so a lot of that is then obviously I planned it accordingly, and now I want to talk through the process of how I did that, and more importantly show you the tool that I used, because I know I put it on Reddit and it got quite a positive response, but I want to make sure I share it with you guys as well, so you, you know, you might find it helpful. Some of you might not, you might have surpassed that and therefore don't need it, and you're next gear choices are obvious but there's that bit in the middle when you hit soft cap where your next steps aren't necessarily always so obvious so yeah anyway let's have a look at the intro page so one thing I will say if you already know and you're very happy about the concept of AP brackets please just I'll try and get something to pop up the screen or somewhere where you can click to move forward just jump to where I show you the tool because the next few parts I'm just going to talk about is obviously why you want to plan and talking about the AP brackets so if you already know that please you know click the link and go to that but anyway so <laughs> for those who don't I'm gonna just go over why planning upgrades helps and how it's gonna benefit you I'm gonna go over the AP brackets and why they're so important with your gameplay and for your sort of I want to say leveling not necessarily leveling your characters in level but leveling is in your gear and upgrading it and why it's so important for that and then I'll show you how to use the tool that I've made for the upgrades which will hopefully help you get those upgrades yourself and make sure you get them effectively as well. So some of this may seem really obvious, but why why plan your upgrades? Well, the first thing is having targets is always going to help you because you've got something to focus for and it can stop you doing risky roulettes. Now, when I'm saying targets, keep in mind, I'm looking at this two ways. One, uh, you know, there's, there's two obvious clear ways you're going to get, get your gear. The, the first is you're going to grind for the money and buy it yourself. The second is that you're going to enhance it yourself. Now, either way, you're going to have to do some grinding of some sort, because if you're buying it outright, you've got to have a lot of silver to buy it at once. If you're going to enhance it yourself, you've got to either save up or, you know, wait to get enough drops from events and stuff to put together. So either way, you've got to grind to get that. Now, and I say stop risky roulettes. Now, keep in mind, I'm not saying rouletting is bad. Some people do it and they get some fantastic gains. Some people do it and they get nothing and that completely kills the game for them. And it's all on you. There's nothing wrong with doing a roulette as long as you've got the the patience and the resources to get it back afterwards. Now, if you don't care that you've rouletted and you still want to play the game anyway, then fair enough. Then it makes no difference and that way, you know, win-win to do it. So there we go. Um, the main thing that you really want to plan for is so you can hit the brackets at those entry points. So... As you'll see in the next slide, which will come up shortly, the AP brackets are really important. You'll get a lower end and a high end of the AP. Now, if your current AP falls in that, you'll get some bonus damage. So you currently have two things. You have your sheet damage and, you, and then you'll have your bonus damage. So your sheet damage is what you see on your character screen. Um, a good example of hidden AP that a lot of people sort of know about and just kind of overlook is the gems that you got for doing the quest line that had something like 100 health and 5 HP on. Uh, sorry, 5 AP. With that in mind, when you equipped that gem onto your weapon or you know, socketed it, you didn't get any bonus AP or it seemed on your sheet. It was all went into your hidden area. So this, the, the AP that you gain from your brackets is in that hidden area. So it is really important. You might not necessarily see it, but that means when you're getting your upgrades, obviously going for the highest AP one first can always be better, but it might not be the most efficient for use of your money at that time. But we'll go into that shortly and the last thing the reason why i personally pushed ap and i'm sure a lot of other people did as well the higher ap the faster you can grind and the better places you can grind now it's only later on in the game where if you don't have the dp you know you'll get smashed and you won't be able to grind there but 
as a rule of thumb, the higher AP you get, the more, you know, the better your grinding is. It's quite simple as that. The faster you kill things, the more loot you get, the more you deep power, etc. So hopefully that makes sense. So let's have a look at the brackets. So what you can see on the left is the AP bracket table. Now on the left hand column of that you've got your current AP. Now keep in mind your awakening weapon and your you know your normal weapon have two different APs and both of them will get their own individual bonus of AP. And on the right hand side of that column you get the actual AP bonus that you get. So the concept is the more sheet AP and the sheet AP is if you open up your inventory and you'll see what your character is, say for instance on this one you can see my normal attack AP is 286. That is sheet AP, but in that I'll have bonus AP as well. So you'd look on this table and you'd see, so let's have a look now, 286. As you see, it falls into a column there, which obviously I can't point because I'm using my mouse, and it will show you that I can get a bonus AP of 160. So on top of my 280 AP that I already have, I have the bonus 160. Now if you mouse over the question mark like so, um, you will see that it actually does show you this. So you can find out how much bonus AP you're getting. Now the reason why then this is important is as you can see, there's a range to these AP brackets. And because of that, you can then use your gear or you can use your potential next upgrades to hit those brackets early. And if you look around the middle of that table, there's an area where the bonus AP that you get starts getting quite high. And it's normally the 261 point uh, where you hear people talk about the 261. Because at the 261 point, you're starting to get this much higher AP gain uh, for your bonus, which is why you hear people talk about, oh, you need to hit 261 with Nuva, or 261 with Kutum, and then you're in the mega grinding area. You know, that sort of thing is, is where it comes from. So with this in mind, then, when you're looking at your gear now, and say, for instance, I'm just going to use the usual three that you could look at to upgrade. So imagine you've got full try everything, and you're looking at wanting to get a tet you know, accessory. So you might think, right, either I could go for a tech crescent, which would give you three AP if you'd already had a tri crescent. Uh, you could go for a tech tungrad if you've already got a tri tungrad, that would give you two AP. Or you could go for the tech ogre, which would give you five. Now, off the top of your head, you'd probably think, right, the five AP would give me more because it's five AP. But that may not necessarily be the case because though if you were only say for instance 3 AP from hitting your next bracket, yes the 5 AP would give you more, obviously more overall because it will still take you into the next bracket. The amount of extra money that you'd have to grind to get that item would probably mean that you're grinding for another couple of weeks. Now in theory then if you got the smaller upgrade which still took you into the same bracket as the bigger upgrade which would be in this case I think about 3 bill less. You'd have that item quicker and then you'd have also then an increased clear speed because you've hit that next bracket So you've got that next bonus and this is why it's important to start looking at planning your gear around that So hopefully that makes a bit of sense You know ultimately you always want to get as high AP as possible You know the end game will always require you to want to get the you know pen of everything it to an extent um, and then what you've really got to contemplate with yourself is, yes, in theory, if I buy, say, for instance, the Tet Crescent before I buy the Tet Ogre, I'm still going to have to buy the Tet Ogre. But the difference would be if they both put me to the same bracket, I could get one quicker and then I have the enhanced grinding speed for that longer period of time while I need to grind up the mini again. So where so we would take it as the example of, we'll say the tech presence is four bill and the tech ogre is, is nine, say for instance. So you know, it's a five bill difference. Four bill in, you've got your tech present, you've hit that new bracket mark. And with that new bracket mark, you'll be grinding quicker, you'll get more mini. Where if you had to grind basically double that just to get to the ogre, you know, you've been doing all that time at a slower grind speed. So this is where the efficiency kicks in. And I know that sounds a little bit like, Ugh, but it, you know, it kind of makes sense and it makes it better. Anyway, so what I want to do now is I'm going to take us over to the tool and a video of how it's used and fingers crossed it'll be something that you'll find helpful. Okay, here we are then with the damage calculator that I made and there is a link below. You can go on this, it's only on a Google Docs. I've put this at the top, please take a copy of this. This is the locked version. The reason why is because there's some formula on the other pages and you know what it's like if you unlock it. But anyway, so let me just talk you through the concept of this. On your screen, you know, when you look at your character, you have your, your AP levels. Now, the reason why there is two separate areas here is because there's one for Nuva and one for Kutum. 
again it's quite as simple as the kutum is obviously more beneficial in pve because it has all that pve damage on which wouldn't be you know isn't really looked at when you're looking at nuva um, when you look at nuva you have the higher uh, sheet ap so you can use that to hit brackets earlier and to get those bonuses now with that in mind then um, you know we can start planning it and the reason why if you look underneath there is a pvp and pve ap here is what that's looking at is it's saying right okay with the kutum at 246 ap your pvp ap would really be more like likely to be 294 because you've got the bonus from hitting the 246 ap but your pve because of the bonus monster damage on kutum um you know it, it's lower now what i can do in this just to show you i've put the different levels in so if i lower the kutum level the pvp ap should say the same because obviously we, what we're saying is our ap is you know this isn't tied to what your ap because you're typing the ap in here if you had 246 with a tri kutum your effective pve damage would be smaller because you don't get that bonus but for the sake of keeping things fair between the two i'll keep it at tat so what's next now remember we showed you the brackets now the reason why i've done it like this is if the, this is where your ap's are it's telling me to get to my next bracket i would need three ap for both my nuva and cutum here this is presuming they're on the same levels because realistically you might not have both of them at you know te you know you might have had your cutum up first and you may have had your say for instance your nuva at, at try which would mean that would be oh, what would that be a bit smaller that might be 255 ap but as soon as that anyway let's not worry about that too much we'll go back but the idea is you can put in whatever you've got here and you'll work it out so for the sake of argument's sake we're saying three ap for both of these weapons to get the next upgrades so i use three upgrades in my example and i've put them in here so i've put upgrade one you have to anything with a big red border you just type in so i said the first upgrade actually i'll move this up slightly so you can see the ap again the next upgrade would give me three AP would be to buy one Tech Crescent. The cost of that is at the moment on Niu server is about 4.4 billion. Now the other upgrade I looked at was going for one Tech Tongue Grade Earring, which would only give me two AP, because I'm presuming here I'm going up from a try, and that will cost me 6, 000, uh, 6 .3 billion. Now the other upgrade, which would give me the most AP on, on my sheet would be one Tech Ogre, which would be 7.9 billion. Now, the reason why I say, you know, we've got to look at the actual bonuses here, and I've used this one specifically because we know that the next bracket is 3 AP. So for both the Crescent and the Ogre, they will push me into the new bracket, which is why you see here, this is going to be now the expected AP. If you looked at the Tungrad, uh, sorry, if you looked at, yeah, if we look at the Tungrad, which only gives us two, it doesn't push into the new bracket. So we're only going to gain that two AP effectively. Now, if we look at the Crescent, which is only one more AP in theory, on paper, it's actually given us 12 because it's pushing us into a new bracket and then we're also getting that bracket's damage. So this is why this is important. Now, obviously the Ogre does that and as you can see, it is giving us more. As we know, it would give us two more AP. And this is where it starts to come into a cost thing. So the reason why I've put the cost in, if you looked at the cost per AP and you just looked at it as sheet, you will see Tungrad is going to be the worst because obviously it's only giving you two and it's quite simply that divided by how much AP it's given you. And you'd look at these two and you think, well, there's not that much in it really. You know, it's, it's just about 1.5 bill per AP. But that would be if you're ignoring the fact, obviously, that you've got the hidden. By the time you look at the hidden AP, because actually you're getting 12 AP realistically from that one upgrade and you're only getting 14 from that upgrade, the cost is slightly different. So this is where we're starting to say, actually, if you look at efficiency, you're getting a lot more AP for your money if you plan correctly. Because what this is doing, this one crescent is putting you at the bottom end or the, the entrance level of that new bracket, where if you'd have gone for the Tungrad, or what that would have done is put you at a lower end or it would just have you at the higher end of the lower bracket and that's why then it wouldn't help you now to make this interesting if we just then put on uh one ap onto both of these just for argument's sake what you'd end up seeing here which should be oh i meant to put uh, an additional one on that i meant to take that the other way around so that should have been two four nine let's do that and two six one so what we've done there, we've said we've actually hit the next bracket. So say we're at the 261. Now, you'd almost see a different thing here because actually the best upgrade that you could get then would be the Ogre because at 2 AP, you're staying in the same bracket. At 3 AP, you're staying in the same bracket. But actually 5 AP, you're hitting the next one. And all of a sudden, that next upgrade, 
seems a bit more realistic or as in per AP cost because by the time you know you bought it you know you're gonna you know you're gonna get those gains so this is what I mean by effectively planning and this is what I use literally with all my gear whenever and it was nice when we was getting the free APs from all the books and stuff because you know you can go in here and just like I have did then say actually we've got one more AP so let's put that up and then you can see actually where before at one point I was going for a tech crescent for a next upgrade and we got one free AP and I was like wow that one free AP is then not made that seem as good anymore so I may as well save up longer and it's it can be quite funny how that changes everything so it is worth having something like this in the back of your mind like I said the link is down below so yeah please feel free to use it it is a really good tool and uh, I hope it was good Anyways, thank you so much for watching that you know really is the end I want to try and keep it as short as possible yes the link for the tool will be in the description below make sure you take a copy of it uh, the rest, <laughs> requesting permissions won't go anywhere because it goes to a, an email that I don't check anyway so yeah just take a copy and have a play with it I hope that was useful for you it really was what I used to plan my gear out and I think it's probably one of the better ways to do it because you know efficiency can be really good and it definitely helps and you know i know a lot of people aren't necessarily so keen of making their spreadsheets and stuff you know luckily for you guys that can't be bothered i seem to enjoy doing it which is why i've done it and you know i'm happy to share it with people so anyway thank you so much for watching you know i hope you're having a good start of the year so far and uh, i hope this will help you get some nice gains take care bye